you know black folks and basically that object and basically we call it the brick uh, gigantic B and I'm going to show you in photos here in a second and we're going to zoom this in to 400 real fast and watch here by earth our back door out towards the darkness of space towards behind the back door on earth our dark side as if you pay attention in the video just before this if you look at the darkness and realize that what I'm telling you is the truth of the area that you see on H1A and H1B, you will see the V darkness up there by the sun that will bleed the truth of its. You see one side on one shot and one side in the other, and they're looking at the same damn thing. Okay? But in a different area, as you see on the V shot, let's zoom this in at 400. We'll pop down, and there's our back door up towards Uranus. Neptune, Pluto, and so forth and so on. And back over here to the right in the well is the sun. And on other shots that you'll sometimes see, they because it's the other side shot that they'll show you. Uh, we're on uh, B here. So when you see H1A, you see Mars over here by the well, okay, in the well where it's supposed to be. Now what I'm going to show you here is if we just even look here and just at the 400%, Realize how big this stuff from the supergiants here, and that's how big the supergiants are, actually, ladies and gentlemen. The sun's there in the well. And there's actually another part of it over here. So when you're looking from Earth, the supergiants, when you see those uh, Russell Herzberg uh, scientific plots, yes, this is those forks coming off the right-hand side of the sun in the supergiants main sequence. This is like the front fork. This is the giants here, okay? And how far this stuff is away and realize how big it is, if we slide over this way, we will see Jupiter again, right? Okay, so we'll go to Jupiter, I mean to Venus, okay? You have Venus there and realize how far this stuff away and realize how huge that stuff is, okay? And then we see on this normal shot at 400, we zoom in and the idea that Mars, whether which one, it, who knows which one it is, is much larger looking, okay? But this stuff is way the hell out and realize how large that stuff is, okay? An idea of the video before this, the one that you see up behind Earth, that is a very, very large planet, ladies and gentlemen, because it's a long ways away from Earth and more than likely is bigger than Venus, okay? So let's zoom into a thousand here on the back door of Earth on this shot. And now I'm going to go to. Uh, photos right after this also and then you'll see that some of the objects that might even possibly be some of our magnetics or extra moons. And we know that the moon is part of our magnetics that keeps us on our string of hair in space, okay? Electrical magnification line, yes. Straight line DC in space, okay? <clears throat> if we had a wave, which we somewhat do because we do oscillate like a bullet and also the sun does too, as I've showed you in the past, okay? But when you take a still photo, you don't see that oscillation, okay? And we know by the axis turn and so forth and so on. But you see when we pump up to a thousand, you get these dark dead planets, which is more than likely a moon, somewhat close to Venus. But then there's also some that are straight away, a long ways away, and bam, 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 almost in a line, okay? Even though it's an angle shot and everything like that. And then out our back door... Not a black hole, ladies and gentlemen, to let people get you scared. Oh my god. Black door? A black, uh, black hole? Is that keyword to get something to pop up on the screen? But anyway, no, it's not a black hole. That is towards Pluto, Neptune, Uranus, out our back door on the dark side of Earth. Because that's the glow that we get from the sun in the supergiants over here in the well to the right. Okay? And then the IE, the V that you get of the darkness when you get the other yep we'll scoot over here a little bit more to the right and actually I'll even plop down to 400 real fast and make you guys realize that when we're looking at that belt of darkness out there in space that's deep dark space that doesn't really get lit up and that's to the right actually the left of the sun okay and then that's what you end up seeing on that H1 I believe A or B you will see that deep darkness lightness out deep in space behind the sun because that's that there okay when you are lower here this is out towards us and it gets overglowed by all the supergiants and all the other stars in the Milky Way 
and so forth and all the other asteroid belts IE will pop out to 100% and you'll realize what we're talking about okay so this is that dark area that you keep on seeing this here that's the dark area that you see on the sun shots okay and yes the sun gets blocked out by this blocker so that you don't see all the glow of the super giants all of these star clusters here of one fork of it and then there's another fork way the hell back here okay that yeah, I would guarantee that more than likely NASA can see it whenever the hell they want to look at it, but they're not going to show us on the SOHO shots, okay? The super giants exist, folks, just like this. Whammo, fork, fork, okay? I've showed you those forks before. Let me go to a shot real fast to match up, okay? A big long fork this way and a fork and a fork, i.e. 72848, more than likely is what might possibly be in stuff around it that's coming up in the sky at nighttime in Hawaii. Supergiant's back there, that other fork there, okay? This is straight away, and then the alley in the sun and everything. Rigel Kentaurus A and B are up here with the sun, about right there. And we go back to the shot again real fast, and you'll realize it's just like that. And then that big forkness of the Supergiants is over here, and you end up getting it on, I believe, HB, H1B, okay? Is the big brightness that you see up over here. And possibly we're just getting right here is what that shot's giving you. And going back to the photo, okay, so you can basically give it a good idea of what's going on, okay? We might just be seeing that fork of it, okay, that brightness when you see that shot. Imagine the brightness that's back here and so forth and so on, okay? Because you flip this to the right a little bit, folks, okay? I don't know. I'm not very good at it. Yeah, you flip this to the right, and basically you're looking at this about like this, just a little bit more back to the left that way. You turn it a little bit to the left, and you have, i.e., the super giants. They're all over here, okay? And that fork is laying just pretty much like that. Just like that, okay? And then Earth is back here. Thank God we're on the dark. Oh, they don't like that. I'm showing direction. It's a good thing we're on the dark side, ladies and gentlemen, so that we don't get roasted to like a marshmallow, okay? So let's go ahead and look what's going on here. I, I've got in this fast, and this should not have no problems playing because I got this zoomed up on a CME, and I might have it too much here. I've got this playing, and this is what I was mentioning before that I should have took a picture of, and you can see all these spikes, okay? And also, we're going to be go to photos here in a second. I'll pop this to 400, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Now, this should have been playing, and it's the idea that you get these spikes, and then we ended up seeing, basically, I'll show you on the photo, but basically what ends up coming out is what we figure is the baby, the dwarfs that are in front of the sun, okay? And in the same position, the supergiants light them up also, okay? It's not the moon doing that, okay? So I ended up getting something screwed up on my shot here. So let's go to photos. Okay, this is Arcturus yesterday, and it's 1898 DQ, okay? And let me make you realize the idea that it's like the sun and huge and bright. 4,800K, folks, temperature, okay? I think it's actually even hotter than the sun, okay? 37.58 light years away, okay? Yep, 72848. I want to thank my friends at all the armed branches for giving me this shot. Okay. And yeah, you can find it if you go looking for it, but there you go. Huge CMEs, and then we end up actually being able to see what's down in front of the sun. Okay. Because that's not an arm covering up any photo, folks. This actually happened. Okay. So I had three here, and then I'll zoom it in, and we end up seeing this huge brick. Okay. And let's go to the photos again. So in the photos, you end up seeing what pretty much is considered to be these dwarfs that are in front of the sun and end up standing in the same spot. It's an Oort cloud that's between the sun and Earth, and you also see it when the other supergiant suns reflect through it at Hawaii. Okay, that puts off a different signature when it's a different sun. Different sun, ladies and gentlemen. There's a hundred stars in the sun. I mean, the supergiants. There's a hundred stars in the supergiants that are suns. The sun is a star that are four to seventy eight times the size of the sun. So this is our shot that we took. And then we're going to see a lot of shots that I zoomed in on it. Now this is the three behind shot that shows it there and it's the same object, ladies and gentlemen. 
So I'll zoom into it a little bit here that I can, and I don't like that because we're showing this object, folks, to you. Okay, it's right there, and this is the same damn object here. Watch these photos come by. Okay, that's the same shot. Okay, which we really found it on three, on the Navy. Okay, this is not it. This is just another shot of Navy, but you can see that we have two dark planets up above the sun, and they do layer, so they separate everything, and that's what they are. Terahydrons, tetrahydrons, because basically it's a humongous something that got in the super big bangs, big bangs, not just a big bang at one point in time. And okay, this is from the three shot, and then this is from one. Okay, and it was what I did. I kept on saying, hey, I got this object up there to the right. So then we get it here, and we can zoom in on it. And I can zoom in on this one here a little bit. Then I also took shots and zoom in. And what's really weird and funky looking is it almost looks like the object from the TiVo ad. You see how it's got the two, but it's not antennas, it's, it's three planets. There's one there, one there, and one there. And I really do think that this is what we're ending up seeing, uh, doing part of the uh, flopping around, and I'll take you and give you the Neumeier, the, the recent uh, that I've got, there should have been more recent, okay, and then these are other shots that I zoomed in on that, centered it on my screen, and shot it in at 1,000%, uh, and they are not liking you be able to see this stuff just whammo on the internet, folks. They do not like that. Okay, because there's where I really was able to get a good shot and zoomed in on this thing. So scientifically sharing with you folks finds, okay, because I don't even know if the scientists got their donuts off their hand and actually working there at NASA and actually know this stuff's actually there. Take time to look at the photos, okay. They know the objects are there, but they really take time to save money and look at it with a photo instead of sending it a satellite after it, which I don't mind that. We just need a lot more of them out there, okay. So this is the time of these shots, and basically, uh, this is what I think is the brick that we have because we ended up getting that from that shot there. That's more than likely. But this matches up too good to being this, so then I end up seeing that they have two and three that gets twisted around. So this is actually that big object that we end up seeing below the sun there all the time, okay? Yeah, got it figured out. That's the one we end up seeing below the sun all the time, folks. And then this is the one because we know that they flop it around on us when they show you the Soho shots. So that's our object that we found. And basically, that there is that object right there. And then I blow it up on it. Okay, that's where it blowed up real big. That's blown up real big. And then we'll see where the idea that you see that it looks like it has those orbs. And it's got basically three planets that r rotate around it. I think I can zoom in on it here and get it. And basically, there's one, two. And there's one below. So you can't miss it here. There's one, two, three, and maybe possibly four planets around this gigantic V. That you just go back to the video and you'll see it. Because this is the best one. I zoomed in on it real close, folks. It might actually be one of our large mass objects that we know of. Remember what I told you about retrieving rockets, ladies and gentlemen. Either that or a new jet plane. Okay, because that sure looks like a rocket right there. I want to light anybody up. Don't make us do it. And you remember for seeing this shot in the other videos of, of us finding that object up there by the sun, okay? So we know it's there because so basically we just zoom in on it and find it. Bam, it's there. Okay? So there's lots of planets up there. Lots of stuff banging around the sun. Nobody wants to talk about. And remember, we can scare the shit out of anybody at any time and we could also hurt somebody at any time because that's what you've seen in China, folks, was this going a lot faster and being a gigantic look like a spaceship bullshit. Look, I snuck into the ladies room and caught a couple of shots. Check this sexy little thing out, okay? What's that? That they show that it's painted white, right? Right, white my ass. Love the U.S. Air Force. We love you. Keep us safe, okay? Just sneaking around a little bit. Here's that toasted planet again that was up by Mars. I've seen the other video, but it's worth a look at again here in a little bit. Okay, so that was up by Mars. We caught that a while back. Okay. Here's this wild goddamn thing in Hawaii. Watch the clock too. Watch the clock. The clock's right there. Okay. Check that action out. This is the same thing. I kept on taking some shots of it. Bam, bam, bam. There's another one of those wish boners. And then this, we know that that's one of the suns in the supergiant coming up right there. Okay. You'll see the clock. And you can freeze the footage and, yep, super giant suns.